I think the, uh, the biggest challenge that we face going forward, particularly over the next 12 to 18 months, um, is going to be the modernization of our legacy environments. Trying to create an extraction layer, if you will, of the business services that come from those legacy systems to effectively shield the rest of our environment um, from those, those legacy systems. We all know technology changes at a rapid pace. The consumerization of technology has certainly increased that more so. It's something technology companies we're seeing grapple with, uh, certainly our clients as well. I think one of the more interesting internal challenges is balancing with a very bright group of engineers the ability of creating a repeatable service with always wanting to go bespoke and highly customized for different clients. It's that balance that really is the great question of how do we grow our business to really extend essentially the breadth and scale of a leveraged offering. Engagements with our customers are primarily focused on business outcomes not technology speeds and feeds, technology functionality. It's always linked back into what they're trying to accomplish as a business. It used to be that you would be talking to the director of IT or the CIO, but now we're being called in by the chief marketing officer and the CFO. Their questions are this, how can I sell more to my customer? How can I leverage IT to get my job done? This change in conversation is going to continue because it's not going to be the IT shop that buys IT in the future. It's going to be the business leaders that buy IT to make their business better. We are much closer and much more aligned with the individual business units around our company um, than we've ever been. You've got to be embedded and you've got to be constantly moving with them. And it's because of the speed of the business, it moves so fast that we have to be connected to that at every step of the way. Operating at the speed of business for us means that technology is now leading the charge as opposed to reacting. It's about being proactive and it's about driving revenue as opposed to being a cost center. No matter how fast we can deliver a, a technique or a function, a business service, um, it isn't fast enough. If I could shrink it from nine months to six months, that's not fast enough. If I could shrink it to two weeks, it's still not fast enough because the speed of business is as fast as a consumer sees an app show up. That's the speed at which consumers and our business customers uh, expect uh, the speed of change. The speed is much different today than it was historically and it continues to get better as new technologies are deployed. Our ability to basically make sure that every piece of data, every frame of video, or every sentence of voice communication is delivered to that end customer. Whatever their mission is really core to what Harris is all about. CA Technologies provides us an unprecedented amount of situational awareness of what's happening across that network at a given time. Our customers expect us to know and we leverage CA to gain that knowledge. As we've moved from mainframe to client server to cloud computing era, we've had to become more nimble and more responsive to our end clients. We use the CA technology platforms in order to gather that data and make it into useful, actionable information on a real-time basis so we can help better support our end customers. From the, 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 the project development to managing projects to allocating the assets to knowing and being able to predict when we're going to have an issue before it happens. Those are all places that CA plays a big, big role with us. And I, I certainly see that continuing into the future as we technology enable even more of our business. We know that software and automation and management and security is foundational to what we have to deliver to our customers. CA Technologies provides the breadth, the capability, the innovation, and the forward-looking direction across that spectrum of technologies that we know are foundational to our success and we'll use them in our ability to deliver services to our clients.